Hey everybody, just doing some more work here. I got uh, Jim's uh, QT, QT Dragon uh, screen here and I've been working on the uh, file manager. So uh, on the left here you can see it was just a plain old flat list uh, with no information about the uh, uh, files. So I put an option in now that you can put a table so that you can find the last time it was modified and the uh, size of the file which may help you find out you know that that, that file you just modified which, that's named very similar you should be able to say oh okay it was the, this one or that one <coughs> or that's the intention anyways um, and then at the same time for people that have a touch screen um, I coded it up so that you could use a a dial. Now, I just threw this dial on his screen just to test with. But um you know, with a little bit of code changes, you could just you could use your MPG uh your actual hardware dial. Um you'd have to do a little bit of coding. I could probably make that easier, but it would work just the same as this. Or uh for those people that are um, you know, have fun modifying screens. If it was me, I'd probably just have these jogging controls disappear when you're uh, doing files and maybe have a, a jog wheel sitting here and, and maybe a way to uh, to pick which one it, it uh, scrolls. But anyways, he scrolls up and down like this and then if you want to uh, Pick a uh, pick a file. You just tap it. I don't have a touch screen uh, on this machine, so I can't do it by tapping the screen. But uh, I can do it like that. Oh yeah, can I have this going here? Anyways. Right. That's, uh, oh yeah, I don't know if anybody's seen this either, but um, if you have a HTML file um, that's named the same as as the file you're loaded, for instance, see I had uh, 3D chips here, but if I show all the files, there's one that's 3D chips with HTML. And uh, the screen right now is set up, so if, if I load that one, It'll check to see if there's a similar named other than the HTML, and if it does, it will um, load it onto this page. And the idea here is that you uh, might have set up information, for instance, you know what tool you last used, or um, any information like that might be uh, good to pass on. Um, in this case, we do have a way to. Uh, write the documents though it's probably not very user friendly at the moment um, but uh, you know it's it's a way so you at the machine could sit here and type up some information about the job or, or whatever and then save it to a file and if you save it to the same name as the program it'll automatically load in the screen um, like you say the some other options that might be better is if we had a little quick button to just print out the tool uh, tool table list uh, just automatically you know put your cursor here and push a button and it would put all the tools in there um, I don't know other people are smarter with those kind of ideas but at least there's a beginning of something here So there you go, another little video about things I've been doing.